Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show how you can control read receipts in MS Teams. You probably have seen this icon in MS Teams. As you know, this will tell the sender of a chat if the recipient reads the message. It works in one-on-one -on -one and group chats of 20 people or less. But some people disable this feature from MS Teams. Let's say your company policy says everyone needs to have this feature on or you as an admin need to control this feature. There are two ways to control it, from Teams Admin Center or from PowerShell. And I'm gonna show you both ways. If you need to change the settings from Microsoft Teams Admin Center, once you're logged in, click on Messaging Policies. And by default, you should have only one policy, which is Global Org wide default that's for everyone or most tenants should have this default policy click on it and here you can see the list of policies that you can edit or you can change that ties to messaging policies so anything that related to the messaging in ms teams for the most part you can control them from here right now it's on user control this means that user get to decide if they want read receipts on or off default settings within the app is on user can then turn it off then we have turned on for everyone this means everyone in the tenant will have the feature on with no option to turn it off when using the on for everyone settings the only way to set receipts for whole tenant is either to have only one messaging policy for the whole tenant or to have all messaging policies in the tenant use the same settings for receipts the other option that we have, it's called turn off for everyone. This means the feature is disabled and no one in tenant has read receipts, nor can they turn it on. Once you select the correct or desired uh, settings, you can click here, save. What I noticed in Microsoft Teams, sometimes it takes a day or so if you change a setting. So make sure you plan accordingly. Now I'm going to show you another way. You can use PowerShell to do the same thing. So I'm not going to save this. For now, I'm gonna discard this, and I'm gonna run PowerShell. I'm gonna show you how you can do it from PowerShell. I'm connected to Teams Admin Center through PowerShell. Make sure you run PowerShell as an admin and then connect to Microsoft Teams Admin Center. I'm going to include a video in the description. It's gonna show you how to use PowerShell or how to connect to Microsoft Teams through PowerShell. So we're gonna use get-cs Teams messaging policy I'm gonna click enter. This command is going to list messaging policy in our tenant. And what we're looking for is the global policy. And if you remember, it is our default policy for our entire tenant. And if you look closely, you can find read receipt enable type equal user preference. And what we are going to do, we are going to change this to something other than user preference. To do that, what we need to do, we have instead of get, we have to use set. So I'm gonna type set dash CS Teams messaging policy dash identity is going to be the name of our policy, which is global. And I'm going to add read receipt enable type. As you notice, by default is on user preference. We have two other options. We can set it to everyone or we can set it to none. For this example, I'm going to set it to everyone. Now I'm going to use get-cs teams messaging policy because I just want to make sure the policy has been updated and the setting has been changed. And if I check here, read receipt enable type is set to everyone. Here's a screenshot I took from Microsoft Teams settings. As you noticed, read receipts option is available because the policy was set to user controlled and user can turn off or turn on this setting or feature. But as soon as I set the policy to turn on for everyone, this option is not available anymore. The option is gone because the setting is set to everyone. And I took this to screenshot because I wanted to show you how this is going to affect end user and how is it gonna look like when you change these settings. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. See you all next time.